Good morning, folks. It is Friday the 28th of August, and this morning we're going to read together Psalm 66. I know we've, we've skipped a couple of Psalms that's been doing this, um, but it's just a thought for this morning that I had. So we're going to read together Psalm 66. Shout joyful praises to God, all the earth. Sing about the glory of his name. Tell the world how glorious he is. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Your enemies cringe before your mighty power. Everything on earth will worship you. Will They will sing your praises, shouting your name in glorious song. Come and see what God has done. What awesome miracles he performs for people. He made a dry path through the Red Sea. And his people went across on foot. They, there, we rejoiced in him. For by his great power he rules forever. He watches over every moment of the nations. Let no rebels rise in defiance. Let the whole world bless our God and sing loud praises to him. Our lives are in his hands and he keeps our feet from stumbling. You have tested us, O God. You have purified us like silver. You captured us in your nets and laid the burden of slavery on our backs. Then you put a leader over us. They went through fire and flood, but you brought us to a place of great abundance. Now I come to your temple with burnt offerings to fulfill the vows I made to you. Yes, the sacred vows I made when I was in deep trouble. That is why I am sacrificing burnt offerings to you. The best of my rams as an unpleasing aroma, a sacrifice of bulls and male goats. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he did for me. For I cried out to him for help, praising him as I spoke. If I had not confessed the sin of my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God did listen. He paid attention to my prayer. Praise God, who does not ignore my prayer or withdraw his unfailing love from me. Amen. How good are you at remembering things? Whenever you do remember things, um, are you a glass half empty or a glass half full sort of person? Do you see good in things or is it all doom and gloom? For David and for the people of the times whenever the Psalms are written, life could be very much full of doom and gloom. And yet in this Psalm of praise they focus upon all that God has done for them they want to remind the people of all the good things that God has done those miracles that have been performed the times that he has rescued them and he says and the psalmist says in verse 16 come and listen all you who fear God and I will tell you what he did for me he's not afraid to tell God all those good times and remember them you know we all have phones and cameras. Um, maybe you've got photo albums with actual pictures in them, as opposed to just looking at them on a device, just digital or on a computer. Maybe you've got a camcorder, maybe you've got tapes that you can look back and, you, and you've videoed special things, special events, and you enjoy looking at them. And, and, you're, oh, and you've had forgotten about that and you remember those things. You know, it's good to remember what God has done for us. And it's good then to tell other people about that. You know, we're very good at telling people about bad things and bad experiences we've had. But let's tell them about the good things. Let's tell them about all the times whenever we have really seen God working with us and, and a blessing. Because, you know, that's the, the only the times that we see that. But yet God is with us in every time. We're very quick to condemn God at times and to say, but God, where were you? But yet God was there. You know, I think of um, that poem that was written, Footsteps in the Sand, and how someone looking back over their life and seeing the difficult times in their life, only seeing one set of footprints and accusing God, where were you? And the reply that came back, I was with you. And I carried you. 
you know, if we could just see the depth of the footprints in the sand to realise the times whenever God has lifted us up and carried us. Just like the perfect heavenly father that he is. So maybe today on Friday, on a day at the end of a week, and maybe today you look back at the week just to see what's happened this week. Maybe if you're working, you will reflect upon what you've been doing in work this week. Maybe tidy things up, tidy your desk up before the weekend. Whatever you do this day, just take time to pause and to think. Think back about experiences that you've had. Experiences where you can see God. And then those experiences where you can't see God. But ask him just to show you exactly where he was. That you, Your eyes would be opened so that you can see those times whenever he carried you. Because that gives us hope and reassurance for the future. Because in the future there will be times whenever things go well. There will be times when things don't go well. And we really need God to carry us. And you know what? He will. Because he has promised us that he will never leave us or forsake us. Let's thank him for that. And let's pray about that. Father, thank you again that you are God. That you are our God. That you are Heavenly Father. That you are a personal God. Lord, thank you that you are always with us. And we do remember the good times. And Lord, help us to tell other people about those times as well. So we can tell them about how much you love and care for others. But Lord, the hard and difficult times. Help us to be able to see how you have carried us. How you have looked after us. How you have surrounded us with your love at all those times. And Lord, in the future, whenever things are difficult again... Please carry us. Please hold us close. Please just keep us safe. Lord, thank you for all the promises from your word. Promises like, I will never leave you or forsake you. Promises like, I hold you by the right hand. I, the Lord your God. And I say, do not be afraid for I am here to help you. Lord, thank you for these promises because they remind us of your constant presence. And Lord, as we go into this weekend, May you be with us, guiding and protecting. Father, thank you, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining me again this week. There, um, there's no Bible reading tomorrow morning, it's Saturday. And then on Sunday morning, again, it will be um, our service. Again, it will be what's happened the last few weeks, where it will be introduced by one of the elders. And then it will be the moderator's service. Um, and then, God willing, if things go to plan, we hope to be back in the following um, week in church. But there will be an announcement about that coming this next week. So stay tuned and we'll keep you up to date with any developments. So take care. God bless. See you soon.